And now a change of pace. Cultivating truffles calls for an unarguably unique sense of taste, and finding them is also a very complex task. Truffle hunting has now made it to UNESCO's list of intangible cultural heritage. Uh, there is one. Have you ever wondered why Italian truffles are so expensive? Truffles, which are just knobbly pieces of fungus, are in fact a delicacy, adored for their ability to impart a unique note to dishes. To cultivate them is a task and a half. And to procure them, well, that is a different ball game altogether. One that requires special training of dogs and their humans. A complex task. That has now made it to the UNESCO's list of intangible cultural heritage of humanity. Truffles cannot be farmed. They grow only in clean-kept woods and gardens. And on very specific trees such as oak, willow and lime. The trees are carefully cleaned of ivy and other weeds. After which it can take decades for the tree to yield truffles. And these furry hunters here have been trained to sniff out truffles when that happens. Today the dog takes a truffle out here. Tomorrow in another spot. He slowly creates a sort of Google Maps for himself. He memorizes the spots and then knows where to look for them the following time. It also depends on the truffle season, if there are a lot or not. There are many factors to take into consideration. However, the number of truffles has been decreasing in recent years. The UNESCO recognition came after multiple calls for safeguarding the practice. A truffle hunter is somebody that is and will always be individualistic. He has his secret spots and will not share them with anyone. He will go alone on a set journey. But we are understanding more and more that some big issues that are linked to the weather, the climate, the safeguard of the plants and truffle trees, their upkeep, are all things that need collective actions. Truffle hunters have joined hands to try and create more spaces for truffles to grow. Like the Roche del Ruero Truffle Hunters Association, which has planted 550 poplars across 10 towns in the Ruero region. And every year, the 60-something members of the association come together to clean the woods in order to protect the truffles already growing on them. Bureau Report, we on World is One.